we've been very successful in our uh, clearance rate related to the, the homicides. But in relation to the 65 other people that have been shot in the last 24 months, we've gotten very little cooperation. I honestly, I think our clearance rate is like at about 39 percent. We're normally we're well over 50 to 55 percent. So people telling us why, telling us what they saw, who was involved, and why they believe they did it, it just it doesn't exist. That was Brooklyn Park Police Chief Craig Envoldson talking about the lack of cooperation related to shootings in the city. Governor Walls launched a statewide tour this week to hear from city officials about how the state can help support public safety needs and reduce violent crime. As Delane Cleveland reports, the governor's first stop was in Brooklyn Park, where the gun violence is unlike anything the police chief has seen in more than 30 years. We're just incredibly grateful to be here. Wednesday afternoon in Brooklyn Park, Governor Walls convened a round table discussion to learn more about crime in the city. Those in attendance didn't hold back. Something needs to be done. The streets are flooded with guns. Crime in Brooklyn Park, according to Police Chief Craig Envoldson, is technically the lowest it's ever been in the city. But when it comes to violent crime, the stats are way up. I've uh, spoke with all three of you over the last 12 to 18 months about the problems that we're experiencing here in Brooklyn Park. And quite honestly, not a whole heck of a lot has changed and I'm scared to death of what 2022 is gonna bring us. It's a sobering reality for the police department at a time when they're not getting much cooperation from the public to help them solve violent crimes. I had no answer for the mayor or the community on why we had 250 people shot over the last two years and our clearance rate is down here. And our clearance rate is down here because witnesses will not talk to us, yes. victims will not talk to us, and that's because the police are not legitimate. And that narrative continues today, and it's problematic. This is just one of many conversations the governor plans to have with local cities as he highlights a proposed $300 million funding package aimed at improving public safety. Brooklyn Park would receive close to a million and a half each year under this new plan to help pay for things like police recruitment, forensic science, and investment in community groups like Minnesota Acts Now, a nonprofit civilian group that helps patrol crime hotspots in the city. The chief admits the money would help, but what he really wants to see is a change in the narrative that all police are bad. What I'm asking and what I've spoke with you guys about a little bit too is it's not money. It's simply your voice in support of law enforcement attempting to stop the lawlessness. In Brooklyn Park, Delane Cleveland, CCX News. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.